Ripple is now taking a lot of that business away because it's um, faster, cheaper, and safer. Um, on the metropolis side, we have uh, corporations, special economic zone, legal framework where the law is favorable with low taxes, and uh, innovation villages where uh, new companies can be created. Uh, uh, this a hub for innovation is the idea for this village. Okay. Um, so we also will welcome non-resident workers and corporations to live and work in Palau, return. But Sophie and I have visited his grave in London several times. So the medical hub is very important. Um, you know, in the U.S. it's very difficult to do the stem cell uh, regenerative medicine experiments. We want our laws to be more flexible to allow stem cell. We know that uh, Korea may have some advanced medical facilities so we can work with them. Um, educational hub. This is the heart of the whole project, you know, uh, online and on campus studies as I mentioned. Heart of the whole project, you know, uh, online and on campus mentioned. We don't have, uh, we have a special treaty with the U.S. where the education is uh, accredited by the United States and we have many universities that want to And there's the where we hope we can have an office for Google, for Microsoft, for any startup company that can do the innovation. And there's the business district. This is where we hope we can have an office for Google, for Microsoft, or any startup company that can do the innovation since we have the, uh, the high-speed internet facility there in a nice setting. This is also where I mentioned that IBM Japan can send their employees during the winter to escape the cold of Japan and have a good setting, but their work does not involve Palau. Their work is online, working on projects in Japan. So that another um, and, and reduced cost of, of course, it has to have a golf course and residences that uh, some of these crypto wealthy young people can have a home and a place for exercise and, and, and this and that. So uh, residential, of course, will have condominiums, apartments, private residences, and you know some villa setting ideas where people have a tropical sense of uh, swimming pool, uh, thatch roofing, but modern kind of a residence feeling. So they have a resort feeling for their home when they're working and living in, uh, in the Republic and this site. So these are um, you know just some images of what uh, some of the facilities could look like. Um, and of course, need to have one five-star hotel with a convention center so people can have meetings, crypto uh, conferences, uh, blockchain conferences, um, marine science blockchains, climate change conferences. We'll have the facility to be able to uh, invite uh, people from all over the world with a five-star hotel. Um, these are just some ideas that we've seen from others, you know, uh, uh, target industries, ocean technology, education technology, this is why we're here, Dr. Kim, um, and you know, healthcare extension, allowing the doctors to do their research. We are making good strides forward in finding some very good quality uh, potential energy source, including hydrogen fuel, including solar uh, panels and wind panels, and most lately, uh, lately the current using the tidals of the sea to generate electricity. So, so we'll have stable electricity and low cost electricity. So you can see we are looking at every possible. Uh, of course, we wanted innovation on transportation, whether drones flying people from the airport to the village uh, or in some other. Um, and, you know, having a studio where Hollywood and other uh, Korean filmmakers can come and they have a studio to do films. We think that uh, that would be uh, because of the beauty of Palau, some soap opera shows, movies, uh, some settings could be there. If we have the right studio to uh, invite this uh, level of industry to Palau.